Today is April 16th, 2020. My name is Charles Suter, and I'll be presenting the third session about the power of heightened awareness. Previous sessions, I've mentioned that the purpose of heightened awareness is positive change, that there is a higher consciousness to all of us that is often untapped. I'm going to explain how you can tap this power of heightened awareness to make positive changes in your life. The main message of this presentation is how to apply heightened awareness during mindful meditations. Now, mindful meditations is not that much different from regular meditation. Let me explain. Step one, take time daily to meditate with heightened awareness for 10 minutes. This 10 minutes is arbitrary and debatable. It could be longer or shorter. You decide. What you do is you simply sit comfortably, relax your breathing, close your eyes, and withdraw from the world. Clear all thoughts from your mind. Imagine yourself leaving your body, being on the outside looking in. You are no longer an actor. You are now the observer. There are some things you're going to see that you like and some things that you don't like about yourself. For the moment, simply accept what you see that you don't like Express gratitude for what you do like. Now, begin to search for what aspect about your life would you like to change? What are the options? Step number two. This is the consider, choose, change phase. Define your wants. And it's something that you don't have that you want or something that you don't want that you have that you don't, would rather convert to a want. Define it as a want. Imagine your ideal life with this want in it. Then, what are the possible short-term goals leading to this want that you could execute today? Pick an intermediate short-term goal, something you could do now, or if not immediately after you get up from meditation, then schedule a time later today to do it. Step number three, focus your heightened awareness on just this one chosen goal. Direct your conscious mind to begin immediate implementation as soon as you end your meditation or at the designated time in the future and give direction to yourself. Imagine yourself actively engaged in the first step leading towards this goal. Then repeat the declaration I am up to 50 times. Again, this number is is arbitrary and debatable. Pick a number that works for you, but the more times you uh, repeat this phrase, I am, fill in the blank of what you want or you tend to do, the faster or sooner you will reprogram your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind carries your, your, um, your identity. It tells you who you are now. And if you try to make changes against the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind will provide a source of resistance. That's the purpose of both directing your conscious mind to take an action while at the same time to begin reprogramming your subconscious mind with the affirmation I am. Let me give you a quick example. Example: Let's suppose you're a smoker and you want to be a non-smoker. The goal would be to not smoke for the rest of the day. And you simply tell yourself, I am a non-smoker. I no longer smoking. I have quit smoking. I am a non-smoker. You repeat this 50 times. Imagining in your mind that you are not smoking for the rest of the day. Tomorrow will take care of itself when you can repeat this same process all over again. Again, it's a two-step process. You're directing your conscious mind to do something now in the present while at the same time reprogramming your subconscious mind to reprogram some of the self-images you have in your subconscious mind to be in alignment with where with the wants that you want to create now. So my final message, change comes quickest with heightened awareness and now that you are aware of the value of heightened awareness, begin this process of mindful meditations to put heightened awareness to its highest and best use in your own life. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier and healthier and live longer.